first pitch from Furchik is low, ball one. Cassidy 0 for 1 in the first game, struck out, uh, swinging back in the first, and in the third she walked. Second pitch in there for a strike, now 1 and 1. Virchick delivers the 1 1 pitch, tapped on to second. Daniels up with it, she fires on to first to basic, one away here in the top of the first. Okay, good job by. Daniels staying down on the ground ball, throwing over to first base, one away. That will bring up the second baseman, number 24, uh, excuse me, Katrina Fabian, freshman from Steubenville, Ohio. Yeah, hometown girl, like we had mentioned in the first broadcast. I don't think you're quite down with us yet. Uh, freshman, like you said, playing first base, or playing second today for the Barons. First pitch to Fabian is a strike from Verchik. Second pitch on the way. Swung on a miss. Now 0-2. Verchik quickly on top of Fabian. She was 1 for 2 in game 1. Singled and stole. Second back in the first. Then flew out the second base. Verchik delivers. Called strike 3 on the inside corner. So Fabian goes down, go, goes down looking on 3 pitches. 2 away here in the top of the first for St. Vincent. And this is a nice, nice job setting up their pitching <coughs> by the St. Vincent coaching staff. Prokopovich, a little bit of a off-speed pitcher, not throwing the ball as hard as Verchik does here, and using soft in the first game, and now coming hard with Verchik. Uh, she has definitely a lot more velocity on her softball. Linz come in the box now for Franciscan. Verchik's pitch in there for a strike. Now one and one, I believe. Yeah, working working at a fast pace, uh, keeping her defense involved, looking to get her uh, defense off the field and get the sticks back at the plate. Linscombe swings through a fastball, now one and two. Virchik doing a good job of getting on top of uh, hitters quickly here in the first inning. The one, two. Fouled back out of play. Count remains one and two. Yeah, Mike, Gio and I <coughs> talked about in the first game that slash bunt uh, technique that's used in softball, especially with two strikes it's used uh, just to shorten up your approach at the plate. Show that bunt, just pull it back and take a short little cut at the ball, especially right-handers. The one-two delivery is just a bit in high. Count goes even at two and two. Two away here in the top of the first. A couple of ducks flying by over, over way of Bearcat ball field here. Foul ball, I believe. The two-two was fouled into the dirt. Count remains even. Verchik trying to retire the side here in the top of the first. The 2-2 delivery. Fastball on the inside corner. Strike three. Linscombe goes down looking. Two strikeouts for Verchik in the top of the first. We've played a half inning here at St. Vincent. Franciscan zero. Bearcats coming to bat. <laughs> Rewards first, first pitch to Daniels. Ball inside. Oh, excuse me. It's a strike. Yeah, calling that inside corner. Uh, yeah. A little delayed call kind of mm -hmm. threw me off. So 0-1 on Daniels. Seven bunch of geese. Yo, one grounded on the third base line. Hits the inside of the third base bag and kicks away from the third baseman. So Daniels is on with a leadoff single. It's going to be rolled as an error. Actually an air E5. They say it got under the third baseman's mitt before it hit the third base bag. So Daniels aboard nonetheless with nobody on. That will bring up the left fielder, number 20, Maria Adams. Yeah, Daniels continues to hit the softball hard. Uh, finding the gap in game one here, almost hitting a home run. First pitch to Adams is a ball outside. Adams also did hit the ball well in game one. A couple of Adam balls. Reward in the circle for Franciscan. The 1 0 delivery to Adams is a ball up and away. Now 2 0. Looked like an off speed pitch there. The, uh, got away from her hand a little bit. 2 0 the count to Adams. Good pitch to hit here. Maria came into the, into the day uh, leading St. Vincent in RBIs with six. And second in home runs with five. Or excuse me, tied for first in home run. Runs, not home runs. Ball in the dirt. Daniels moves up to second. Wild pitch. So to clarify, Maria has five runs, not five home runs. Right. <laughs> tied for first on the team. Yeah, the count goes to 3-0. and oh. Mick Janosko just pulling into campus right now. Rewards 3-0 delivery to Adams. Hit her. Caught the inside of her thigh, so Adams is aboard, hit by a pitch. Bearcats now have runners on first and second with nobody out. That brings up the third baseman, number two, Becky Dean. 
Good opportunity for the Bearcats here early. Just trying to strike early, get on the scoreboard first. So that's five in a row now. Five balls in a row for Ruert. Does that miss his low and away to Dean? 1-0. Oh. Definitely not the start Franciscan was looking for after a, a blowout, a loss in game one, 13-0. She finds the strikes in on that pitch, now 1-1. One one. <clears throat> She's got a text in here to the broadcast from uh, Mr. Jim Berger. Glad to see he's following along. Wild pitch. Daniels and Adams both move up 90 feet. Now both runners in scoring position as the count goes to two and – oh, it's 60 feet. That's right. <laughs> so used to baseball. Thanks for catching me there, Zach. So both run runners move ahead 60 feet in the scoring position to count two and one on Dean. Hey, we didn't promise perfection to anybody listening to the broadcast. That's one thing we cannot guarantee whatsoever. The 2-1 misses high and away. Now 3-1. and one. <laughs> Couple of geese migrating over Bearcat ball or Bearcat softball field here, on their way north for the cool cooler weather. So the three one to Dean misses inside. She's aboard with the base on balls. Bases loaded now for Shannon Basic, the first baseman. So St. Vincent loaded the bases without the courtesy of a hit. First pitch to Basic misses high again. Ruert. You're struggling here in the early goings? Yeah, if you're basic here, you're looking for one pitch to hit because uh, definitely struggling with the strike zone right now. Reward, basic looking for one pitch, and that'll be a wild pitch, and Bearcats are going to score their first run. Yep, every runner moves up 60 feet. Daniels crosses the plate. So she moved up three times without the courtesy of a hit. one nothing St. Vincent. Three wild pitches already by Reward. Uh Definitely not the start the Lady Barons were looking for. So runners on second and third now for basic. Basic pops this one into shallow right field. Right fielder coming on. She can't handle it. Adams will score. Dean moves up 60 feet to third base. Basic is on first. We're not sure what the official ruling will be on that. Should be a base hit there. Tough play for the right fielder. That's uh, Kelly Cole out in right field in game two for the Barons. So Dean on Dean on third, basic on first. That brings up the right fielder number four, Ali Panzella, freshman from Connellsville. Shows the slash approach, takes on the inside corner, ball one, strike one. This guy's got to get quicker with his strike calls here. Yeah, and it's tough. It's tough out here at our center field vantage point. We can't really hear the strike calls, so. We're just going solely on his uh, hand motion. It's definitely a late, uh, delayed strike call. So count evens up at one on one. Do we get an official ruling on that last play? We'll Sean, have, uh, Sean Brad, page out we'll to have us? Uh, Brad Burkhart check that out. Yeah, but it's a single right now. Panzella squares around now, pulls back. Ball misses high, two and one. Rolling from Sean is a hit. Thanks. So two and one on Panzella. Runners on first and third. This one's lofted into the deep center field. Center field under it for the catch. Dean fakes the tag, so she stays at third. Panzella unable to get the run in. Now two away for St. Vincent. Excuse me, one away for St. Vincent. Runners remain at the corners. Brings up the catcher, number 27, Olivia Dongilla. First pitch misses high. How do you pronounce the batter's name? You're first. Say it again. So basic on first, she moves up ahead on the ball. Two and one, I believe the count now. So runners on second and third for St. Vincent with one away, leading 2 nothing here in the bottom of the first over Franciscan. Delivery is high. 
Good patience by the Bearcat hit hitters. Not chasing pitches out of the zone. Franciscan struggling a little bit right now, trying to find the strike zone, but uh, good plate discipline by the Bearcats thus far. Pitch catches the corner. Three and one, I believe. Three two delivery. Must have been a two. Nope, I think it was three, was three one. one delivery. I'm sorry. Called for a strike. Now full count. Tough to see the count. The scoreboard is in front of us, so we can't see the count. So half the time, we're probably just guessing at what the count is. <laughs> that pitch is in the dirt, nonetheless. So Don Gila on first with a walk. Bases loaded again for St. Vincent. Brings up the shortstop, number eight, Emily Petrowski. First pitch to Petrowski is a strike, 0 and 1. Rubert getting ahead of a batter for the first time here in the game. Second pitch in there for a strike called. Now 0 and 2 on Petrowski. Important for Vercek, the pitcher for St. Vincent, now to stay loose. Uh, it's already been a good amount of time since she's been out there throwing in the last. Half of the inning, so important for her to stay loose. That pitch was in the dirt, so the count goes to one and two on Emily. Probably won't get too tight today. Uh, very, very unseasonably warm here in Latrobe. Petrowski pops that one up in the Bermuda Triangle behind uh, shortstop. Center fielder picks it up, though, and gets the force out at, uh, on basic at third base, so Petrowski won't get a hit. That goes as a fielder's choice, but... The run does come across the plate, so 3 nothing now, St. Vincent. Fielder's choice on that play, uh, I believe 8-5. Eight, 8-5, five. Eight, five it'll go as a fielder's choice. Tough break there for Petrowski. RBI granted, though. Not, uh, it'll be 3 nothing right now for the Bearcats. So Basic was out going to third. Two away. Don Gila on second. Petrowski on first. First pitch into Prokopovic is a strike. Second pitch catches the corner, now 0-2 on Prokopovich, the winner in game one on the circle. I think we got the wrong player out at second base. I think that's Toth, not Don Gila. So there's a little scorecard confusion? Yeah. So we apologize. Yeah, that is at 17. So that's Brianna Toth catching today. I'm going to take the blame for that one. I wrote down 17 instead of 27. So, so we apologize to our listeners out there. Rewert delivers. That's lined into left field. A, just going to be foul. So the count still goes one and two. Three nothing St. Vincent leading here in the bottom of the first. <coughs> Rewert's pitch misses outside. That's another wild pitch. Both runners advance. Now both in scoring position. Petrowski on second, Toth on third. Four wild pitches this inning. Some sort of new league record. <laughs> it's got to be up there. So 2-2 two -two on Prokopovich. Rubert delivers. Prokopovich lifts this one into the left center field. That ball is going back. It's going to kick up against the base of the fence. Both runners will score. Prokopovich into second with a stand-up double. Now 5-0 St. Vincent. Good piece of hit by Prokopovich. She was definitely on on that at bat, uh, lacing that ball just outside the third base foul line and then uh, hitting a ball in the left center field gap. Good at bat by Prokopovich, driving in two. So with two away, St. Vincent gets two more runners home. Now 5 nothing. All those runs are unearned. Now at the plate, Susie Cole, the center fielder. She fouls the first pitch down the third baseline. Now 0-1. It's going to go as, um, so far this inning, five runs for the Bearcats. Only one of them earned the Adams run is the only earned run because of the errors. 
and then the uh, lob pitches. Cool chases this one upstairs, 0 and 2. So Ruert trying to get out of this. Prokopovich on second after the double. They played it a pair of runs here for St. Vincent. Cole lifts this one into left field. Left fielder tries to dive for it. She can't come up with it. That's going to roll into the corner. Cole around second. She's going to try for three. The throw in, not in time. Cole on third with a stand-up triple. So a nice job of two-strike hitting here by the Bearcats, the last two at-bats. Extends the score to 6 nothing. Prokopovich scores on the triple by Cole. A yeah, good piece of uh, hitting by Cole and also good speed. Uh, can see why she has let off some games this year and uh, also a valuable weapon in the nine hole of the batting order. If she can get on base, use her speed for the top of the order to come through. And a, a nice triple there for Cole, RBI. Two outs, two strikes. So back to the top of the order. That's Lindsey Daniels at the plate now. She reached on, on a uh, air her first at bat earlier in the inning. She eventually came around to score on a wild pitch. Daniels lets this one go low. And Daniels walks on four pitches. That last pitch missed out and away, so that brings up Maria Adams, who was hit by a pitch her last time up. Adams was hit by a pitch earlier here in this inning. Scored a run. So runners at the corners for St. Vincent. Adams, the junior, in the box. It's five in a row now from Ruert. That pitch misses out and away. Not sure if there's anybody warming up for Franciscan in the bullpen. No, there's not. Pitch swung on by Adams and fouled back out of play. Now one and one. So the one one to Adams. Off speed pitch in there for a strike. Now one and two. Shade starts to set in. In the batter's box, a uh, little bit tougher to see the ball coming in. Rewert delivers, balls in the dirt. Nice job by the catcher going down to block that one. 2-2 two -two the count here, Mike? I believe so. That pitch misses low, now 3-2. and two. Runner will be going on the pitch, 3-2, two, two outs. The 3-2 misses low, and it's a wild pitch, so Cole scores with ease. Daniels moves up 60 feet to second, and Adams is on first. A walk and a hit by pitch in the inning for Adams. Now 7-0 St. Vincent. That'll bring up Becky Dean, who walked and scored earlier here in the inning. Left-handed third baseman. Be another wild pitch, it appears. Yep, both runners move up now, both in scoring position. Dean, the sophomore from Economy, Pennsylvania, Ambridge High School. She stands in against Ruert. This pitch misses low. This one high and in almost catches Dean in the helmet. 3 and 0. Oh. The 30 -oh delivery catches the outside corner now 3 and 1. Dean the uh, three hitter, good hitter here. 
three and one count. Definitely her pitch to hit. Essentially, she's looking for one pitch in one spot. She doesn't get it, and she'll take the walk. Dean came into the day leading the team in hits with 14. So she draws a walk, her second of the inning. Bases chock full of Bearcats once again. That brings up Shannon Basic, the first baseman. She reached on a single to right field last time. We're going to have a conference on the mound for Franciscan. Okay, back out of the change. The first pitch to Basic, Miss Lowe. The change is defensively for the Barons. Number 12, Amelia Gallagher checking in in the eighth spot in the batting order. She will be pitching here, and there's another base hit for the Bearcats. Basic lines that one into left, so two runs will come around for St. Vincent. Basic on with her second hit of the inning, now 9 nothing St. Vincent. Two-run score on that. Three RBIs in the inning for Basic. Uh, the other changes for the Barons, moving from... Pitcher to center field is number three, Amanda Ruart. And moving from center field to right field is number 20, Rosemary Cassidy. Two so runners on first and second for the Bearcats. Allie Panzella up. She flew out to center field, her first at bat. Pitch is low. Nice turnout today here at Bearcat Ball Ball uh, Softball Field. Large contingent of athletes on hand. That one's lined right at the shortstop. She'll throw on to third for the final out of the inning, but the damage has been done. St. Vincent, courtesy of one Franciscan air, a number of walks, and a number of wild pitches, has a 9 nothing lead after one. Heading to the top of the second. So Rupert attempts to lay down a bunt. They're going to say the ball was foul, though. So she'll go back in the box 0-1. So 0-1 on the batter, Rupert. Second pitch to Rupert, low and inside, now 1-1. One and one. A lot of nice scenery around today at the ball game. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a Chamber of Commerce uh, type of afternoon here in Latrobe. Very unseasonably warm, like we mentioned. Temperatures reached the uh, near 80 today. Ground under the third baseman, Buffoni. She'll get the lead at second. Throw onto first is not in time, so two away. Fielder's choice goes 5 4. Yeah, trying for the ham and eggs there. Just getting a little bit of ham uh, on the double play. Uh, put out will go 5 3. Nicely done. Lynn Buffoni checking into the game at third base straight up. First pitch is taken for a strike. A one pitch is a fastball taken for a strike, 0 and 2. Called strike three. So Volk goes down looking to end the inning. After one and a half, St. Vincent nine, Franciscan zero. First pitch to Toth. In there for a strike, 0-1. Look to, look to be a first pitch off-speed pitch there. Toth a little out in front. Checked her swing and just took the pitch. Gallagher remains in the circle for Franciscan. Toth lists this one into left field. Hooks just foul. So 0-2 on the catcher. So the 0-2 to Toth on the way. Taking low, 1-2. and 
So Toth in there, one and two, St. Vincent leading nine nothing. First batter here in the bottom of the second for the Bearcats. Off speed pitch. Looked a little high and in. Blue behind the plate said otherwise, so Toth goes down looking here to start the bottom of the second. Yeah, Larry behind the plate uh, thought that was a strike. Uh, uh, but uh, definitely uh, maybe a little bit high, but in a little bit of a blowout, you got to understand uh, the strike zone is going to open up a little bit. First pitch to Petrowski is lifted high into center field. Number three, Ruert, the pitcher camps under it. Two away. Brings up the designated player number nine, Prokopovich. She doubled in a pair of runs her first at bat in the first inning. Yeah, she definitely found the gap in her first at bat. First pitch swinging, line drive at the shortstop is down. She picks it up, throws on to first. Three up, three down, go to the Bearcats in the bottom of the second. We've played two here at St. Vincent. Bearcats lead 9 nothing. Vercek remains in the circle, a pair of changes for the Bearcats defensively. In left field now is number 22, Sam Shoemaker. And at first, who we originally said was catching, is now at first, number 27, Olivia Dongila. First pitch from Verchik misses just I outside. I she was going to go in the game. I was just two innings early. Yeah. In at. You have that ESP going. ESPN. Second pitch from Verchik misses high, now 2-0. and oh. Number 23, Kelly Cole. In the box for the Barons. Swings through a fastball, now two and one. We have a timeout on the field. There were some fans uh, catching football out in center field. An, an errant throw. Yeah, definitely an errant pass there. Uh, not the best throw in the world. So center fielder Susie Cole goes and helps the fans and gives them their football back. So Vercic kicks and fires just a bit low. Starting to squeeze a little bit with a uh, big lead here. Now three and one on Cole. Yeah, really squeezing her in there. <laughs> Count goes full on that pitch from Vercic. Catches the outside corner on a fastball. Nice soft speed pitch from Verchik. It's cold to swing through that one. So one away here. Verchik gets her fifth strike out of the game. First pitch misses high. Now 1-0. and I'd like to thank uh, Bim Jerger for tuning in out in Eastern part of the state. Thanks, Ben. Good guy. <laughs> Second pitch catches the plate. One and one. Also, we got a message in that uh, Art Vandelay was joining us uh, from Vandelay Industries out in New York. So White fouls that one away. Now one and two. Good guy, Art. Yeah, Art. <laughs> Importing and exporting is what he does out in New York. Virgic wins that one upstairs. White swings through it. That was about a foot over her head, but Verchik with some nice movement on that rise ball. Yeah, it wasn't low. So the next batter is the leadoff hitter, number 20, <coughs> Rosemary Cassidy, I think. There's been a lot of changes, folks, so if we have any names wrong, we apologize, but we think we're pretty close to being on target. I believe that is Cassidy. Hard to see the number. That pitch misses upstairs now, one and one. Second pitch is fouled back out of play now, one and two on Cassidy. So one and two on Cassidy. She grounded out 4 3 her first at bat. So swing and a miss from Cassidy, and Verchek strikes out the side here in the top of the of the third. We've played two and a half, St. Vincent nine, Franciscan zero. Leading off, center fielder number 15, Susie Cole. She tripled her last at bat. This one's 
Back up the middle, shortstop ranges over, makes a nice play on it, throws out the speedy Cole. A nice job Six by three. Gallagher coming in, uh, shutting the door a little bit. Uh, she pitched in game one. Her arm was definitely loose. Uh, good decision by Franciscan going back to her. Uh, get some outs here for the Barons. Brings up the second baseman, Lindsey Daniels. 0 for 1 today, reached on an air and a walk. That first pitch is up and in, 1-0. The 1-0 to Daniels. Swung on and lifted deep down the left field line. That one's going back. Left fielder ranging over. It's going to hook just foul out of play. Daniels gave that one a good ride. Just a little, little too much to the left. Good to see Alex Kazusko down here giving <laughs> us podcast advice. <laughs> So Alex, the O2 to Alex, Daniels. What's your, what's your major? The O2 to Daniels misses low now one and two. What's your major, Alex? I'm averaging all sorts of majors. Okay. Communications. communications major currently. This so. semester. Taking the Grant Crawley approach. Yes. Daniels fouls this one on the plate. She's battling, still one and two. Nine nothing St. Vincent leading here in the bottom of the third inning. Daniels at the plate, one away. Daniels taps this one down the third base line. Third baseman up with it. Strong throw on to first. Put out five three for the Barons. That's five straight Bearcats that have gone down. Brings up uh, Sam Schumacher, her first at bat. She came in for Adams. Maria was 0 for 0 on the day with a couple of runs scored, a hit by pitch, and a walk. Off-speed pitch in to Schumacher, now 0-1. Like I said, uh, credit Gallagher. Really uh, throwing the ball pretty well. Yeah. Change of pace, the southpaw coming out of the bullpen or center field. Another off-speed pitch. Look at like a knuckleball on that yeah. one. Kind of dropped off the table. 0-2 on Schumacher. Through the splitter. That was Mark Shuey's favorite pitch. <laughs> George. Setting up away, the 0-2 swung on and missed by Schumacher. So Gallagher sets the side down in order. Second inning in a row, we've played three. St. Vincent nine, Franciscan zero. Shauna Hetrick, the lefty, the line for Verchik. Pretty good, no runs, no hits, no errors behind her. Walked one batter and struck out six. Struck out uh, four consecutive, her last four batters she struck out. So plus, she struck, oh, sorry, Mike, plus she struck out. Plus she struck out two to end the game in the final in game, inning number five of the first game. So good outing today. So Hetrick, she's a junior from Johnstown, PA, graduate of Westmont Hilltop High School. This pitch is fouled back off the catcher. Just on our side of Johnstown, Westmont Hilltop. Um, I believe that's where Rob Patula teaches now. That sounds right, actually. Yeah, I Rob, think Rob's a good guy. I think that the former Bearcat baseball player and the owner of Patula Hot Dogs. This one blooped into right field. Just going to be foul, though. Fabian, the hitter. Second baseman for Franciscan, I think. Like we said, folks, it's hard to see the numbers out here. and They've been changing left and right, so. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like a two and a four on our jersey, so we're going to say it's still Fabian. This one's popped back out of play. Our spotter in the booth, Gary Gerhardt. He's got 2020 vision. Tells us Fabian's still in the box. Is that a new shirt Gary's wearing? What? New shirt. This pitch misses his eye, two and two. This inning's brought to you by Harmon Life Coaching. Any sort of. Uh Rut that you're in or any sort of uh, confidence boosting, uh, give Keith Harmon a call. He will be more than happy to, uh, you know, fill you in on any sort any sort of uh, mentoring that you can get. And Fabian goes down looking, so Hetrick keeps the strikeout pace up where Vercek left off. So one away here in the top of the fourth.
Mallory Linscombe in the box now for Franciscan. She's from Texas. Mm. California. <laughs> she lifts this one into right field. Cole takes charge and camps under it. Two away. Good communication there between Cole and Pancella, letting the center fielder take charge. Very boisterous out there in the gap. Nice job by Susie Cole. Danielle Pilar stepping into the box for Franciscan. Two away here in the top of the fourth. St. Vincent leads 9-0. Guess that pitch missed up. I mean, it looked pretty much right down the middle from out here, but we're further away than they are, so 1-0. Oh. This one's popped into the trees behind the field. So 1-1. One and one. So Hetrick in the circle, Linscombe in the box. Off-speed pitch misses away, two and one. N you mentioned Harmon life coaching. Uh, if you guys see him in the broadcast again tomorrow, this one's fouled back out of play two and two. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people pulling for him to do a little bit more color analysis. Uh, Keith did half of a doubleheader. He did... Uh, I believe it was inning four through seven in game one of our doubleheader against Penn State Altoona. And just to rave reviews this, Altoona might have their first hit of the game. Yes, they will. Franciscan <laughs> has their first hit of the game. No, um, Altoona, excuse me. Panzella, that was a line drive right to Panzella in right field. She came up firing, but Don Gila couldn't get the throws a little wide, so Franciscan does break up the no hitter. Linscombe reaches on a single. Oh, excuse me, it's, uh, Pilar reaches on a single. Takes a ball. Durand up now for the Barons. Two and oh. Swings through the first through a pitch right there from Hetrick. So two and one now on Duran. Yeah. Pitch from Hetrick misses low, three and one. I gotta love the little idiosyncrasies of uh, softball and baseball players. Uh, Susie Cool walks about a quarter of a mile during the inning. Every time she she steps up for the pitch, does her little creep step, and then she walks around about a circle, about eight steps, and she gets ready for the next pitch. I didn't notice that. Definitely the quirks of a softball and a baseball player can be seen some throughout unique, the day. Some unique people you'll find in both yes. of those sports. Hedrick's delivery grounded to Petrowski at short, fires on to Daniels at second. She's going to try and turn the double play, <laughs> but that would make it four outs. Um, practice. Hey, it's good practice, like you said, so. After uh, three and a half, no, excuse me, three and a half? Mm-hmm. Yeah, three and a half, <laughs> top of the fourth here. Uh, St. Vincent leads 9 nothing. That was uh, You Wreck Me by the Wildflowers. That's Good song. Happening. Buffoni, I believe, is up for St. Vincent. Sounds good to me. That pitch in there for a strike. Good, clean family fun around here at uh, St. Vincent College. A lot of wholesome people here. Yeah. <laughs> pitch from Gallagher. Base hit. Flared into right center. That'll be down for a base hit. So Buffoni's on with the leadoff single, I think. Brings up the first baseman, number 27, Olivia Dongila. First pitch into Olivia, misses outside, 1-0.
pitch swung on and missed. Shawshank on tonight? Yeah, Shawshank is on tonight for the fourth straight night on AMC. Tune in. I've watched it four times already. Gallagher's pitch gets away from the catcher, so Funny moves up 60 feet on a wild pitch. It's just a good movie. Yeah, it is a good movie. It's one of my one of my all-time favorites. Uh, Tim Robbins, uh, he's a very good actor. One of my favorites. Also, Morgan Freeman. This one's lined in the left field. That's going to one-hop the fence. So Dongila will be into second with a double. They're going to wave Buffoni around third. She will stay in scoring. So 10 nothing now, St. Vincent. RBI double for Olivia Dongila. Big rip there by Dongila. One of the hardest balls we've seen, seen hit all day. Smoked into the gap. No doubter there on the stand-up double. Left fielder didn't have a chance. That one hopped the fence. We have a pinch hitter here coming up for St. Vincent. We'll see if our spotter, Alex Kazusko can find her number for us. <laughs> Alyssa Grossman. So she will come into the game, and she will stay in right field. We're told by the combination of Kazusko and King. She rips this one fair down the third baseline. So she'll go into second with a stand-up double. Good show of sportsmanship by the Bearcats. Hold Don Gila up at third. Yeah, right you are, Mike. Uh, no sense in rubbing it in. Still got to take your doubles and things of that nature when you get them. Don't want to um, put your hitters in the hole, but uh, nice nice sportsmanship like you, like you said, holding the runner up. No need to rub it in. Brings Toth to the plate. She struck out looking her last time up. Good opportunity to avenge the last K here for Toth, freshman. Wild pitch gets away. Dongila will score. Grossman moves up to third. So now 11 nothing. Got a horn going off. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean the time's up on the game? Or? This scoreboard down here is uh, always on the fritz, to say the least. Coach Harmon gets a little <laughs> gets a little, a little testy, testy <laughs> when it doesn't work. That's for sure. We felt the wrath of that a couple times last soccer season. Yeah, the scoreboard is used multi-purpose between the turf field and the softball field. Here, they just turn it around and. Uh, Needless to say, it never works right. So Toth loops that one in behind first base. She'll be on first with a single. Grossman scores. Now 12 nothing. Good job going the other way by Toth, taking the pitch on the outer half of the plate and just looping it over the first baseman's head. Grass looks nice on the field, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, beautiful. Larry Hendricks and uh, all his... And uh, company. And company, for a while, all those guys really doing a nice job on the field. We have a mound meeting right now between the pitcher and the catcher for it's Franciscan. A combination of Kentucky Blue, California Sesame. <laughs> <laughs> Got to watch out for those chinch bugs, though. Yeah, manganese. Yeah. I think this guy down here on the turf field, he, he's, he was on his phone. I think he was calling Andrew Kazusko physical therapy. Was he? Yeah, he's looking to work out a little bit down here. If there's one guy you want to work out with, it's Andrew Kazusko. You, you ever see that kid's forearms? Yeah, it's a, <laughs> quite a sight. Just ask him about him. He'll, t he'll tell you how to get your forearms looking good. And he'll even tell you, dude, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Couple characters on the team this year. That pitch is low. And just a reminder, tune in to Jeff Zidick and Sean King for tomorrow's uh, baseball action. Doubleheader. Between uh, your St. Vincent Bearcat baseball team and Geneva, eight and seven Geneva comes into town. Bearcats sitting at ten and two currently. Opening of conference play. Going to see a lot of uh, supporters up there on the left left field hill. Yeah, it'll be good to see a lot of athletic supporters up there. It'll be really nice. That pitch is up and in. A 
couple of Coach Harmon players looks like they're uh, working out down on the left side of the turf. <laughs> Getting ready for the upcoming season next fall. This one's popped up. Foul in third base territory. If third baseman runs out of <coughs> room, so that goes out of play. Petrowski at the plate for St. Vincent. Emily, the lone senior on the Bearcats softball team this season, looking to uh, finish out her career well. That pitch misses high. I believe the count's full on Petrowski. Mm -hmm. This one's lifted up at shortstop. Her and the left fielder converge on it. Left fielder calls her off. So Petrowski pops out, first out of the inning. I don't think, is that Petrowski? What number is that, Alex? I don't think that was her. 14, is that her? We don't have a 14 on our score sheet, so mm. there must have been a change. No, no, no. Hitting, the person that just hit. I don't think that was her. I think it was a double-digit number. She's number eight. But oh, okay. Nonetheless. So who's Sorry, up? folks. <laughs> I believe this is Prokopovich who's up, so it might have been a sub for Petrowski. I think so, yeah. Very possible. Prokopovich, she's one for two with a double and a pair of RBIs. This one's lined at the shortstop. She goes up for it, climbs the ladder, gets the out, fires back on to first, but uh I believe that was 17 Toth sliding back in safely. Yeah. Good hustle by the umpire getting in position to make that call at first base. The two away here for St. Vincent. They lead 12-0 in the bottom of the fourth. This one's ripped down the left field line. Fair. Toth will stop at second. And Susie Cole, her second hit of the day, single into left field. She yes. likes that left field line. Yeah, squaring on the ball pretty well. <coughs> so runners at first and second. Brings up Lindsey Daniels. Ball one high. Tapped foul down the third baseline. So 0 and 2 on Daniels. 0 for 3 today is Lynn, or 0 for 2, excuse me. She grounded out to third, reached on an air, and walked. Has hit the ball hard both times, though. This one to third base again. Third baseman up with it. Fires on to first. Third out of the inning. So after four complete, St. Vincent 12, Franciscan 0. This one's popped up. It's going to tail out of play, though. So one and one. Ruwich swings through that one, one and two. <laughs> Ruwich fouls that one back to the screen. Count remains at one and two. You ever watched men's slow pitch softball? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Those guys are roided out out of their minds. Yeah, they're only allowed to hit like two home runs an inning or something like that. Like yeah, you have so many for a game, yeah. it's an out. It's wild. It is. Rupert swings through that one, so one away here. Not like top of the beer fifth. league softball, because you just go like professional, slow pitch softball. It's it's awesome. I haven't seen it on uh, Rupert's website. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, you can only hit like two home runs a game, an inning, or else like it's an out if you hit a home run. You're only allowed like 10 a game or something. It's crazy. And they're all like big guys too, like huge. First pitch to Volk was a ball. Fouls that one back to the screen. So Volk swings through that one. It must have been 0-2 because she goes down swinging. Nick Beeman Durfer joining us in the press box. Transfer from La Roche College. As we near the end of the ball game here, potentially with the 
eight run roll could be in effect here. Cole swings through that one, 0 oh and 1. Hetrick trying to close it out. Hetrick with three Ks so far. Allowed just the one hit. I think time was called. Yeah. So 0 oh and 1. Cole fouls this one out of play. So Hetrick, one pitch away from trying to shut this game down. Finish off the combined one hitter. Yeah, good pitching here in game two. Good pitching all day. Pro Prokopovich was very good in game one. And yeah, all three of them were very good today. Very solid outings. Cool chase is high, strike three. And that is your ball game, ladies and gentlemen. So St. Vincent takes two from Franciscan in convincing fashion. To say the least, 13-0 uh, game one, 12-0 game two. A one-hitter, Vercek goes, uh, I believe, three innings of no-hit softball and then uh, two innings of no-hit, or one-hit softball by Hetrick. Uh, All-around good performance by St. Vincent. <laughs> took uh, took advantage of the airs and the walks and the wild pitches, and they improved to 9-7 and seven on the season. Franciscan <coughs> drops to 0-9. Oh Bearcats. We'll be back in action Saturday, March 24th. They host Penn State Fayette in a doubleheader starting at 12 p.m. Of course, the uh, weather for this weekend isn't looking too good, so check uh, athletics.stvincent.edu for all your St. Vincent sports updates. Also, uh, like we mentioned, tune in to the baseball game tomorrow, 2 p.m. Sean King and Jeff Zidick will be along. Uh, maybe Keith Harmon, maybe a little bit of Matt Janosko as well inside the broadcast booth. Uh, or you can come out and watch the game tomorrow, 2 p.m., doubleheader against Geneva. Uh, the Bearcats open up conference play. So uh, for Mike Hesteva, I'm Zach Bush. Thanks for tuning in. Gio Muzica also in game one. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, have a good evening.